meaning the beauty of our culture. Come and let me take you through the steps of preparing a special dish from Uganda. I will be preparing today our beans. Yes, beans. We've got here our beans, different um, colors. We've got the yellow ones and then there's also this one here. Um, we normally soak it up overnight in you know cold water and then i will be making a stew out of it using my od i've already showed you my od which is the simpson seed paste i will be using my salt of course just to season it up the cardo sea salt which is my preferably um salt and then I also will be finishing it off with our moya, which is the sheer butter. I've used this uh, in another dish that I prepared. So I've also got here our chili oil, which I love a lot. On my right here, I've got the plate and a little dish that I will be serving my bean stew which is usually called Muranga from the northern part of Uganda where I come from, the Acholi Luo culture. So this is how I'm going to be preparing our layata, which is the sweet potatoes. This is the one that I peeled earlier on and I just sliced it. Before doing anything, I'm going to be washing my hands. So it's hand washing again, always hand washing. Give it a good wash. You've, you've got your knife, make sure health and safety, you handle it well. And we're going to be slicing our potatoes. I usually slice it like that. And that's the one that I have already sliced. So this is the one that I have peeled. I just get it and peel it round. Okay, I just take off the covers. Because some, you know, but it's also good to leave the covers on because I believe it gives us that roughage. It's got, um, yeah, roughage, so there's that. You peel it off. Okay, I just peel it off. Okay, so we've got here our potatoes. But also, you can leave the ones with the covers because it's still very good. So I'm going to put them in the pan. That should be enough and I'm gonna give it a rinse in our cold water give it a rinse and then just pour the water out rinse again then you take out all the dust pour it out and then I'm just going to be measuring a little bit of water which I am going to be using. Then I'm going to be taking it on, putting on the cooker, boiling it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I will be showing you the soft potatoes. Yes, so after soaking our beans overnight, we then boil it and it cooks into that soft, can you see? It's beautiful, soft beans. The color changes as well, uh, but it's very, very nice. And I have put a little bit of the pinch of salt, the sea salt in it. That's the sea salt, yes. I've put the pinch of sea salt a little bit in there. So that is our Muranga, Uganda beans to prepare our bean stew with the odi to bring it uh, to that beautiful taste we're going to need a saucepan put it on the cooker and set your heat not too uh, hot and then we've got here our moranga or the beans 
So I'm really going to be just pouring in the water a little bit because we don't want to smash up the bins. And then we've got here our OD, beautiful OD again. And we're gonna scoop, you know, just like maybe two tubs, not too much again. Don't worry if it makes any mess. Then we're gonna do that. And also it will start to boil up straight away. So you have to be first. I'm just gonna add my heat. We've got our stick there. Yeah, we yes, here we've got our corn curry, which is steaming up. I'm just gonna reduce the heat as well. I just multitasking. <laughs> so yeah, and a little bit more. Okay, so that's our OD. And then it's the next thing again. Okay. It's the mixing. You may sometimes put too much uh, water from the bins, but um, we normally have a special um, stick that we use to mix the sauce. It's a bit round and not straight like that one. So it gives it a real smooth um, mix quite easy yeah so we do that also sometimes we just add um a little bit of the magadi or the bicarbonate so i'm adding my beans now just beans try not to add too much of this sauce now can you see that okay i've got some little bit of tomatoes in there so okay so there's that beans i'm trying to just leave out the water not too much because you don't want it to be too soggy so that's that and then you just keep mixing beautiful can you see that this is our muranga de muranga we normally say de muranga agura agura means you've mixed it with the peanut butter paste that is how it looks just adding up the okay and truly this smells beautiful dip muranga dry uganda beans soaked overnight in cold water and then boiled and then we um used our od that's the sesame seed just to mix it and bring this paste and we've got our corn kal which is now ready, steamed, ready to be served with our layata. Karibu, we have prepared our dek muranga, which is the bean stew cooked in peanut butter or the odi sesame seed paste, a product of Uganda, Normally food prepared in the northern part of Uganda, Luo, in Acholi land. And we have here our layata, which is the sweet potatoes to accompany it. So I will be serving my muranga, which is the beans. That is how it looks. Can you see? Beautiful, rich taste, Anna. Beautiful. So we put it in here. Just enough for one person. It's quite filling, so you don't need a lot. Okay? So that is that. I'll put this away. And then I've got my corn curry. Okay? So for my corn curry, steamed already, I will just be lifting it up. Very easy as well. And putting it over here okay so that's that as well all this is for washing as well a lot of washing up and then i've got make sure you clean the side and we've got the layata let's just try and lift that yeah make sure when you're boiling or steaming it it doesn't go too soggy so i've got that and then that is usually enough for one person but I'm just going to be putting just the one which covers just for presentation. Beautiful. 
and I'll put this back on the cooker. Okay, so we've got that. Caribou, our corn can with layata, which is sweet potatoes from Uganda or East Africa. And we're going to be having it with our bean sauce, which is dry beans from Uganda mixed in the sesame seed paste, the OD. And this is a product of Northern Uganda, normally in the Acholi land where I come from. So, Karibo to Petwa's Kitchen. We're going to be tasting it. Karibo meaning come and enjoy. So, we are going to be testing what we've cooked and I'm going to be washing my hands again because uh, we normally use our hands for eating, not the fork. Okay, so that is it. And I will just dry it up a bit. Don't want to touch anything. Yes. So, Karibo, meaning welcome. Join me in our presentation here. We've got the Huan Kan, Layata, we've got the Muranga, which is the bean stew in Odi sauce, and I love my Moya, which is the sheer butter. I normally drop that on top, I love it. And I've got here also my chili, which I may opt out for that because I don't have my water here. So that could get very, very hot. And I usually do my prayers as well before. So this is how we eat it then. I love the corn cow, didn't opt for that first, so sem you dent the corn cow and then scoop our beans just like that mm. very rich and nice mm, 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 mm. beautiful i love it mm. soft. I can taste the OD. Very nice. And then we've got the layata. Just push this over there. And then we've got the layata, which is the potatoes. I'll try this. So it's also soft. So yes, we also just do like that. A little bit soft, but it's fine. And then scoop as well with my sauce. And mm. Mm. I actually prefer the layata, sweet and nice. Very nice taste. Heavenly, beautiful. Thank you for watching.